Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about Spider-Man yet again, because I feel like we're, we're, we've, I've been making like, a decent amount of Spider-Man videos lately. Garn go, I'm going to continue with the bandwagon, okay? Okay. And so in this one we're going to talk about why Tom and McGuire was the only Spider-Man we've seen on the big screen have organic webs. Besides, like, Andrew Garfield's and Tom Holland's Spider-Man had practically artificial. So let's give this a read, shall we? Okay, day. So, the real reason behind this unique feature of McGuire's Spidey. Um, if you watch the, all the Spider-Man movies, you probably noticed a unique feature of Tom McGuire's Spider-Man, his organic webbing. The distinctive quality differentiates him from the other on-screen counterparts, portrayed by Han, Han, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield, who utilized mechanically engineered web suiters. So, what drove Sam Raimi, the director behind the original Spider-Man films, to settle on this specific concept? Sam Raimi, Spider-Man trilogy, is known for its relative realism. While the character has extraordinary abilities and equipment, they are portrayed as believable and naturalistic individuals outside their superhero personas. They decided to give Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man organic web shooters because they wanted to make it more realistic. Raimi had two primary reasons for this choice. First, he believed that if Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive spider and gained its powers, it would make sense for him to acquire a spy spider's primary hunting tool. The ability to spin some webs. <laughs> Second, Raimi struggled to conceive the high school student, regardless of his genius intellect like Peter, could have access to resources significant to invent such a technology that eluded him, that eluded even government bodies and private corporations. Interestingly, in the early stages of making the first Spider-Man movie, they actually planned to stick to the comics, where Peter used mechanical web suiters. Quote unquote. However, at some point, Raimi decided to ship towards the concept of organic web, a decision that was met with mixed reactions from fans. Some fans were a bit ruffled when they heard about the organic web, web idea, mainly because it wasn't what they were used to from their original comics. Now, I ha prior to the movie, I never like really watched the original comics or read the original comics. The only Spider-Man... Uh, content that I was familiar with at that very moment because it came out in 2002 right so I had to be like what four or five six years old when the first movie came out about and um the only films I like Spider-Man content that I had was introduced to really was the uh, 90s cartoon Spider-Man Spider-Man and the Amazing Friends. And... I forget his, the actor's name. But he played Barney in, um... How I Met Your Mother. Um... Let me go check, shall I? There we go. Neil Patrick Harris was... I don't know why I had a massive brain for, for his name. But Neil Patrick Harris was also has also played Spider-Man, I believe, in the early 2000s. It was just, like, I believe one season... CGI Spider-Man show is really like really bad, <laughs> but I remember loving it as a kid, and that was my like the most ex the most extent of Spider-Man that I had prior to watching Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man movies. Or I don't remember if like the uh, Neil Patrick Harris Spider-Man show came out a little bit before or a little bit after. The Sam Raimi trilogy, but regardless, I remember watching that too. But Sam Raimi's trilogy, Tobey Maguire, was the selling point. Like 
Tobey Maguire essentially and Sam Raimi essentially helped indict me into being an official Spider-Man fan, if that makes sense. Anyways, let's continue. So, like, right, yeah, the reason why I brought that up was to point out that I didn't care <laughs> about it being, like, the mechanical web suiters or organic at the time. Probably guess I didn't know any better. If it came out, like, to, like, today, I probably would have, like, felt like, okay, and I don't know how I feel about it, but, but regardless, the mo- the trilogy was awesome. Fans shit on the third movie. I can understand why, but I really enjoyed the third movie. Let's continue. Before I get hate. <laughs> Again. <laughs> However, Remy's implant- implantation of organic web was eventually handled with more subtlety and was ultimately accepted by most fans, parting- present party included. Despite the initial controversy, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man with his organic web shooters has left a lasting impact on the franchise. It sets him apart from other iterations of the character and emphasizes his portrayal as ordinary, emotional young adult rather than a scientific genius. This change has eventually become a unique feature of this version of the character, and Spider-Man No Way Home even included a couple of scenes with other Spider-Mans being surprised by Toby's organic webs. Funny scenes, uh, for sure. Um, I'm not surprised there were like some like backlash for that at that time. Um, but like this said, uh, like this article said, the organic web suitors were ultimately accepted by most fans. Um, but you, like, regardless of you guys, those of you who just still dislikes the organic web shooters, you guys can't tell me at least the first two Spider Man movies, at the very least, the first two Spider Man movies were really good. The third movie, I know, is a like hit or miss for people, it's a hit for me. I know it's a miss for a lot of other people, and the reason why it's hit for me, not so much a Spider Man movie, but just because. I know they kind of, like, did the whole, like, back to Spider-Man weird in that movie. But I like the street emo dance. For some reason, I, I'm drawn to that. Just like how I'm drawn to the Ninja Rap dance in Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze. I can't exactly tell you why I'm drawn to that scene in Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. And why I'm so drawn to the Peter Parker emo dancing scene in the streets in Spider-Man 3. But I'm just am. And that's why Spider-Man 3 is my favorite film. Even though I'll, I'll acknowledge... I'll gladly acknowledge the first one was better. Same with the uh, Ninja Turtles. Even though the second Ninja Turtle movie, Secret of the Ooze, is my favorite. I'll gladly acknowledge the first movie is the best. <laughs> I can't accept that. I can't. I can't accept that. Anyways, what do you guys think about this article? Let me know in the comments section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you, fellow meetings, later. Later, taters.